Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. So welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to use the COUNTIF function in Excel and also understanding what the COUNTIF function is actually used for. Okay, so for today's lesson, I'm using a spreadsheet called Staff Record, which has a lot of information about the staff. I'm just going to scroll down and just show you the number of records I'm talking about. It goes down all the way to 134 row. So simply, I'm using a lot of data just to simulate to you and demonstrate um, a real life possible scenario. Now, before we start doing anything, let's go and have a look at the question of the day. Okay, so the question is asking us to count the following using the count if function. So how many part-time staff, how many full-time staff, how many staff from each of the regions. Okay, let's have a look at the staff worksheet. Now we use this count if function to count a number of items within a certain criteria from a given list. So for example, as per the question, in this column here, which is showing how many or which staff is full-time and which staff is part-time, we can now use this count if function to count how many full-time staff there are and how many part-time staff staff there are. So that is what the count if function is. So let's tackle the first question, which is asking us to work out or calculate how many part-time number of staff there is within this company. Now, I will demonstrate two methods to you, as I tend to do most of the time um, for your knowledge and understanding purposes. The first method I'm going to show you is by manually typing in the entire function. And once you have understood this one, the second method I will demonstrate to you is using the actual insert function button to make it a lot quicker for you. Okay, so we start by typing in the equal sign just like any other calculation and then we type in the word count if. If you remember from a previous lesson where I demonstrated to you how to use the count function and the count a function, which is lesson number six, which you can refer to for your revision and kind of kind of to understand what the difference is. Um, well, I'll tell you what the difference is very quickly. If I was to use or if I wanted to count exactly how many staff there are, for example, let's say from the last name, I can count the entire number of staff. I would use the count function. But today we are not doing that. I just mentioned it to you just for your revision purposes which you can refer to which is lesson number six but today you will see how different the count if is because we are trying to count only how many full-time staff or only how many part-time staff etc so let's come back to our function we type in equals and then count if then we use the opening brackets and once you have done that, we need the full range of where we are trying to count how many part-time staff there is. So we need to highlight this entire range. You can either click and drag all the way down, or if you know the actual range, you can type in the range manually as well. Now, because it's such a long range and I don't know where it stops, I just used my mouse and highlighted the full range. So it goes down all the way to row number 134. You can see the range is there, but I'm going to scroll right up again. And you can see D2 colon all the way to D34. Now that is my range starting from the beginning to the end. 
I then use a comma. And then after the comma, I need to put in the criteria. Now, for this particular one, we are working out how many part-time staff there is. Now, you must put the word as it is in the range. So if it's, if it's the word part, you just need to put the word part in. If it's part-time, you need to put the word full in, uh, full part-time. Otherwise, you may not get any answer. If it doesn't match the range, Excel will give you zero results. So I know the word is part, so all I have to do is type in the word part. However, before I do that, I must remember to type in this word because it is words, I need to type it in quotations. So I need to put the opening quote quotation, type in the word part and then close the quotation and close my brackets. And finally, if you just have a quick check, make sure there's no spelling mistake, etc. So equals count if opening brackets, then it's my range where I am getting this part time number of workers from. And then in quotation, I type in the word part, close brackets and then press enter. And I get 71. So in this particular example, there is 71 part time workers. Now in the next one, I'm going to show you using the function button and see what the difference is, how quicker and easier it could possibly be. The principle is still the same. I have got a few more examples for you in total today. We are going to be demonstrating eight examples for your full understanding um, of this count if function. Okay, so the full time workers, I'm going to use, like I said, the function button. So I'm going to go over to the ribbon, click on the formulas tab and select the insert function button. This gives me the window for the function button. So again, um, if the counting function is not on the list, by all means, just type in the word count if here in the search box and Excel will give it to you. I've already got it here on my list, so I'm just going to simply click on count if and click OK. And it brings up two boxes that I need to fill in, pretty straightforward. In the first one, it is asking for the range. I'm just going to bring this down here. So again, all I'm going to do is just highlight this entire range. And Excel will take this on. Once I have done that, you can see in the range has been included and then is the criteria. Please keep an eye on the formula bar as my cell is right at the top, um, but I will show it to you in a minute. In the criteria box, all I need to do again is type in the word, but this time a full. Um, not the full word as in full time, otherwise it won't find it as in my range, only the word full is being used. So I'm just going to type in the word full, but this time again, I don't need to use the quotations. Excel should, Excel will um, do that for me automatically. If I just click in the range box, you can see it puts in the quotations for me. I don't need to type any of that. So it does save me a lot of time. You can see in the formula bar, this is how the count if function would look like in total. So all I have to do to accept this is click on OK. And there we are. We have got 62 full time staff. Now, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Trying to work out how many part time staff you have, how many full time staff you have. So if anybody did change from part time to full time, for example, let's say Andrew here, he changes his job from a part time to a full time. So if I change that to full now, and press enter, one will be added on. So this should be 63 and this should be 70. Let's see if that works. There we are. So part-time number of staffs is going to gone down to 70 and full-time number of staffs has increased by one to 63 because I have just changed this particular one here. Okay, a few more examples we are gonna work through. So you can work through these with me and please continue to understand what I'm saying and this is the best way to gain the actual real knowledge of anything is to truly understand what I am saying. So in the Wales, how many in the region sector 
we want to count how many employees are working in Wales, how many in Midlands, how many in Southwest, how many in Northwest and Scotland and South. So I'm going to do the first one and then I'm going to show you a quicker way that you could do all of them very quickly. So the first one, um, again, I'm going to type it in because it's good practice. So equals count if open brackets then i need the range so i'm going to use my mouse and just highlight the entire range go right to the bottom to the last one and then i can scroll up or i can continue in the formula bar if i wanted to but i like to scroll up just to show you what i'm doing then i need a comma and then after the comma in quotations i need the word whales so the full full word does exist within this re within this um, column so i need to type in the word whales it doesn't really matter whether you type it in uppercase or lowercase or even a mix a mix of upper and lowercase excel does take um, all the combinations so that doesn't matter it's not case sensitive once you have done that you close the bracket and you simply press enter now in Wales there are 12 employees working now for me to do the next one and the rest of them I will show you what you can do to speed things up a little bit you don't even need to use this function button what we can do is a replicate for the rest of the regions however before we replicate we need to make this cell range here an absolute cell reference otherwise as i replicate um, because at the moment it is a relative cell reference if i was to replicate it down excel will automatically increase one cell down um, and this will change from F2 to F3 and this one will change from F134 to 135. There is a whole lesson that I did on what is the difference between um, absolute cell references and relative cell references. It is lesson number 31, which where I am demonstrating and explaining the difference between relative and absolute cell references. So that's a lesson that you could check out for further understanding. Now, we need to make this absolute so that this does not change when I replicate into the other regions counting. So all I have to do is click in the formula bar on F2 and simply press F four and similarly click on f34 also press f4 on the keyboard and this will put dollar signs in there for you which makes it absolute once i have done that all i have to do now is press enter and replicate from wales count all the way down to the rest however i'm not quite finished because for each one it is counting whales so all i have to do now is go into the midlands count and change within the quotation from whales to mid midlands remember please do check the range and make sure you spell it as it is within this range otherwise you won't get any answer so midlands and press enter so we've got 12 as well in southwest now in southwest the full word is not being used as you can see is only s west so i'm just going to get rid of that and put in s west press enter and i get 52 people working in the southwest now in the northwest and w so you can you can see i'm just clicking on each one and just making a small change within the quotes um, to work out the count for each of the different region so northwest is n west and press enter there's 23 people working there and for scotland the full word is being used so i just click within the quotation and type in the word scotland press enter and there's nine people working in scotland and finally in the south region i just changed the word wales from wales to south and press enter and there are 25 people working in the south region 
Okay, so this is how we do count if function. I have demonstrated two methods, typing it in manually uh, for the part time. Then I demonstrated using the if function to let Excel do most of it for us. And then we worked out another one manually ourselves, and then we replicate it all the way down, but making sure we're making the range into an absolute reference, and then just tweaking the quote within the quotation the different names of the different regions that we are trying to count how many employees are working within. So today's question has been fully explained and answered. So I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. If you do have any further comment or any question, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Otherwise, don't forget to like this lesson and share it with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. And please do look after yourself until then and I shall see you over in the next lesson. Goodbye.